It's Tuesday afternoon I just got back from the hospital, I might as well have that in writing so if I'm missing the cops know I was abducted, this time they left me with 1470 and a 5000 hospital bill with a 1% interest every day until it's paid. I can't possibly relax with that one my mind, my recovery period is only 7 days with today being day 1. It's shorter this time on account of all the exercise I've been doing, I remember who did it, Jizo Masatake and Kiro, honestly I find it. Genuinely surprisingly Ayasato wasn't there, I told the police this time but they need evidence which to me seems easy, there's got to be some bright orange or blue hair lying around out the front of the school or on my school, I would have found it already if they let me. Day 2, of recovery, I think I'm sick of that dear diary stuff, looking back at my old entries it makes me feel so young and it reminds me of my old journals, maybe I'll go back to it but let's stick to the facts, it's day 2 out of 7 of my recovery after an assault, what I can I say other than I'm stressed about my accumulating debt seething with rage, and trying so hard not to go against my doctor's orders. Everything hurts much less than last time so it feels pointless to lay around gathering. Dust, but I have to admit that I understand why I have to do it, so I will. Day 3, I'm running out of food and it's a public holiday so even if I wanted to I couldn't get any more, so not only do I have to sit around but I have to sit around hungry but I did get around to doing a commission so I could pay off the hospital bill that got to 5100 which isn't as bad as I thought, I guess I assumed that I wouldn't be able to get it paid this fast. Day 4, I went to the shop today despite it kind of being a struggle and I spent all my money, I don't know if I'm going through stages of grief or not but I'm not mad today, I'm just, sort of, reflective I guess wondering if going to this school is really worth it, sure I could put it on my resume but it's not some fancy diploma, I'm not really having fun so what's the point, maybe I just feel like that because Yuko still hasn't responded to me, I hope she's safe, I've had a lot of time to watch the news and no one's been reported missing or found, it's actually been a pretty good week for Japan, I haven't gotten anything from the police yet though, maybe they don't really care. Day 5, only 2 more days and then I can go back to normal, I can feel the lingering effects of the attack when I do my stretches but I'm feeling alright otherwise, Mieko came over, she told me a bit about the new kids, the schools had this whole thing about LGBTQ community acceptance because 3 of the new people are non-binary, and apparently one of them kind of look like Yuko. She gave me some of the pamphlets that have been given out, there's stuff about bullying and prejudice and how to. Use they them pronouns, I don't know much about the gender stuff but I think it's pretty cool the school has done this, speaking of Yuko she still hasn't gotten back to me, I sent her a follow up message but she hasn't seen it, I also had to go to the shop again today, nothing happened but it's recovery progress. Day 6, haha <laughs> mad again, kind of, on Tuesday I'll be back at school and I still haven't gotten anything from the police saying they've arrested Juzo, or kicked Kiro or Masatake out. Yuko hasn't responded to me either and I'm decidedly not worried about her anymore because she's seen my message, she's choosing to ignore me, but besides that Miko came over today and we had a good time. Day 7, I'm still a bit sore and a bit angry but I'm relieved to be back at school tomorrow, I've decided I'll take a pocket knife, I really hope no one makes me use it but since the police are clearly failing me I really can't be sure that another attack won't happen, it's for my own safety. I made this decision only about an hour ago because I got a message from an unknown number saying I better not be at school tomorrow, which kind of made me really want to make an entrance just to spite them. I'm still not in the diary mood so I'll just start a new thing, 35 days left. I did some stretches instead of gaming this morning, I'll get back into it eventually but for now I've got to keep up my stamina, everyone was going inside and I spotted some of the new people Mieko had told me about. I tried to talk to Takashi who looks like she wants to be a ring master but she just walked past me. So I said good morning to Hirakumi before getting into an argument with Moranobu because she's still the exact same after a week, good on her for not being kicked out in the grade. Purge, then when I was going into class I saw the person Mieko said looks like Yuko, which she really is right about, they even sit in Yuko's seat. After that class I tried to talk to them about music but they said they don't listen to music and nearly walked away but Jeniki ran over to talk to introduce me to them and I found out their name and that they're one of the students who are non-binary. Once Taisuke left I tried to pull Mieko away for a conversation but Ayasada joined, despite not seeing her during either attack I just don't trust her, 
If she isn't behind anything then I still don't want to be around her. I tried to talk to the new girl on my way to home EC but then Kiro came running down the stairs. During break I tried talking to the ringmaster looking person and they walked away. I was going to go with them and I spotted Ayasada trying to pickpocket another new person, Moditsun. I followed them out of the class and we started talking, they surprisingly like Ikebana. As well as manga and fitness, when we went into the locker room I tried to get them to talk to Jeniki and Yeko but they stayed away. After the next class I talked to Mieko about the new people I had talked to, she told me how she's been getting along with Takashi and they were nearby so I tried to talk to them, but nothing came of that since Kiro got into a fight with Hirakumi and as soon as that was over Mieko called Kiro smart, which me and Hirakumi just tried to ignore since it was a pretty weird comment, when I left the room I saw Jeniki and Taisuke talking about Hirakumi, nicely which is pretty cool, she went from avoided at school and a suspect in my attack to a pretty nice person and friend, I really haven't thought too much about her role in my first attack and I'm on the fence as to if she was there then does it matter anymore, I mean, probably, but she definitely wasn't there the second time. After school I went to the konbini to get more food and some interesting. Turns of events happened, I saw Nishikino there. She honestly didn't look too good and after some talking she's now staying at my house. She has a bit of money but no more coming in so next time rent comes around she'll help pay half. So, that's new. 34 days left, Nishikino's mum was blowing up her phone at 6am this morning and I had to put it on silent for her. Her fear around her mum reminds me of myself after the first attack so I've made her a spot she can sit in in my closet while I'm out. When I got to school I started talking to Mieko but we were interrupted by Kiro. I got Mieko to leave and Masatake came over. I told them both that I know they were the ones to attack me and the police were onto them but apparently they've already been questioned and the police found nothing on them, so I punched her, Masatek didn't join in so I actually had a chance, Mieko yelled that there was a teacher coming which made Kiro stop, there was no teacher but I appreciate Mieko's smart thinking, and on that note I think I might have a bit of a crush on her, I don't want to be a little girl about it and write all the details in my quote unquote diary, but hey it's a possibility, after the first class Ayasada was getting into by business by obviously eavesdropping on a conversation I was happy, so I started talking about how much I don't like her and I guess she's clever enough to not say anything, right before gym I went into the change rooms and talked to a random handful of people for only like 5 seconds because of Maranabu, during break I did some stretching then I tried talking to the new people and Jeniki. I learned about their music taste and thoughts on fitness but we couldn't discuss anything else because of Masatake and Maranabu, as soon as things started calming down Masatake fell right on top of Mieko claiming she had tripped her which I called her out for saying Mieko was literally just standing there, and of course at the last second Kiro tried joining in on pissing us off so I promptly left. But everything started again when I was leaving the Japanese class and say Mieko get balled over by Tisuku I made sure they were both alright then we started talking which we got to do uninterrupted for a while, before Maranabu inserted her supposed birthright to be in every single conversation and to hate on whatever's being talked about, then a lovely chain of events happened, Tisuku tripped Matsuyama and as she fell she knocked Maranabu who then pushed Mieko into me. Then as I tried to walk away Maranabu got mad at me like I had caused the whole collision which by the way made Tisuka knock over Matsuyama. But after that the streak of fights ended and I got home fine, I still haven't gotten a message from Yuko and maybe tomorrow I'll send her a follow up message despite being kind of mad at her. 33 days left, I played 50 minutes of a game before school, less than I normally do so I could get there a bit earlier. When I did get there I said good morning to my friends then I went into the gym to stretch, I noticed Taisuke talking to Kiro by the vending machine, but I was too far away to hear anything and the conversation didn't look very animated. Yeko was up on the stage so I went and talked to her until it wait time for class, after that I tried to talk to Mieko Hirakumi and Jeniki. But Maranabu and Kiro needed their dose of everyone's attention, I tried to ignore them for as long as possible but they just kept pushing it and we ended up in an actual fight. But this time there was a lot of people around, I wouldn't say I necessarily won, but when the bell went Kiro ran away and Maranabu left me alone. During break I talked to Hirakumi about my maybe crush on Mieko. She told me it won't worth it since we're graduating soon and couldn't really explain why she didn't see us. Talking after that, 
I would think that being out of school soon would be a plus because we wouldn't be distracting each other from our studies, but Mieko hasn't really shown signs of having romantic interest in me anyway so that might be a nothing argument, nothing really happened for the rest of the day before home economics I talked to Mieko and Hirakumi, then when the final bell when I got home as soon as I could, hide, aka Nishikino and I are on first name basis and she's doing fine now, that her mum can't call her, so kind of uneventful besides that fight. Another late post but hey we're getting through it, at least I know now that I probably shouldn't aim for something around 100 days, but I hope you're all enjoying it, stay safe, stay happy, and please subscribe, goodbye.